Hey guys, welcome to EasyLiving.com. So the moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. The iPhone 5 is out. Apple has once again created a phone that will take over the world and they have made this new device completely anticlimactic. I think I have to agree with you, especially after we got to see the Nokia Lumia 920 mm -hmm. running the new Windows operating system. I mean, we were both blown away by that phone. It For had sure. spectacular features. Yeah, I think this time around, Apple is definitely going to be on the same level playing field as some of the other players in the smartphone market. Yeah, Apple's no longer the toughest kid on the block. I don't think so. So to give you a better idea of what we're talking about, Darren from Engadget.com has done a hands-on review of the iPhone 5. Hey, this is Darren here with Engadget. We are looking at the new iPhone 5. This is running iOS 6.0. You'll notice an extra row for apps down here at the bottom it's because the screen is a bit bigger. There's an 1136 by 640 display. Let's hop into the camera app here. So one of the new features here is the panorama mode. You'll see it switch over to here. So obviously not enough space to do one here, but you get the point. So Passbook is another iOS 6 feature. We noticed uh, Sheraton Starwood Hotels here and Delta as well. New since the original introduction. Quite a bit thinner and lighter. It is a little bit taller, but it's kind of amazing how much lighter this feels compared to the 4S. You'll notice the two-tone colors here, harkening back to the original iPhone. The new 8-megapixel camera with an LED flash. A familiar button layout here on the side, volume up and down, as well as the mute switch. Familiar home button here at the bottom. Everything else looks pretty familiar to those who've used the 4S. You'll notice a smaller SIM card slot here. That's because this uses the nano SIM instead of the micro SIM on the 4S. Same grid down here. I'm going to put it up beside the 4S here just to give you a look at the size dimension difference. So you'll see just a little bit of a difference in height here. And it's quite a bit thinner. So that's a brief hands-on with the new iPhone 5. Well, there you have it. Amongst all of the chaos at the press release, the Apple iPhone 5. What I really like about this is that they're starting to get away from Google Maps. Yeah. And they have the new flyover feature, which will be very interesting to see how that's going to work out. Spoken directions as mm. well on the phone. And you also have the feature of the panoramic camera, which is that was amazing, very cool. man. I did like that. Yeah, yeah. However, the fact that we have to now buy new accessories, the fact that the iPhone 5 has a different charger to the old iPhone or my iPad, it's going to be incredibly annoying. annoying. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But nonetheless, you know, this new iPhone has made an impact. Stock is going through the roof once again. But I cannot wait to see when the iPhone 5S comes out with their new teleporting feature. Shh, we're not meant to say that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. If you feel the same way we do about the iPhone 5, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and remember, if it's not easy, it's not easy living.